Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. This is episode 103, I think, and I'm, I'm honestly surprised that this series has went on as long as it has. I, I never thought I would get to 103 episodes, so it's pretty crazy that we actually still have content to create. We're here in Prabhus Lavitz. We've got a lot of things to sell. I'm going to go ahead and start really fast moving everything from the horse over to my inventory. Um, we've got lots of things we've got to get rid of here. I didn't even realize we had all this stuff. I'm not sure even where all of it came from. But apparently we got a whole bunch. Uh, so, we're going to move all this stuff over. I think that's it. Actually, we got one more thing. Well, maybe. Let me, let me check this, the attack. Uh, no, 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 no. The saddle is on, on us. Okay, good. We're good. Um, very over-encumbered now, but we're going to run down here to, uh, to the traders. And go ahead and sell all this stuff and see what we come up with. And then we're going to build some. And I really want to build an armor today. I hope we can have a tailor and an armor. I'm not sure if we can have both. Um, and I'm not sure. I think those stables and something else we couldn't have. We couldn't have like both of them. I, I, I have to look at the book and, and see. I can't remember exactly which two it was. I hate that though because I think we need like for a city to really operate. We should be able to get to build everything right. But I don't think we can. So uh, I really do want to armor, though. I want someone who can who can fix my things, and um, that way I can look a lot better because my person is uh, looking like crap. We got trout, we got bread, and we got pretzels. Awesome from the bakery. Oh, it looks like he's got God, some potions there as well. Did someone attack you? I do look terrible, and that's that's literally why I want uh, want an armor. Wow, traders with us forty thousand now. I mean, that is just that's it's got to be a glitch. It's got to be. All right, so let's go ahead and sell stuff to him. Let's go ahead and get to the armor here, and we're just going to go ahead and sell all of this stuff that we're not using. There's no reason to keep any of it except for the golden spurs. We'll keep that. All the stuff that that we don't have on, we're going to sell. Uh, we got two $1,000 necklaces. Very nice. Nobleman's boots. We'll sell those. Noble shoes. The only thing I don't want to sell is the War Horse shoes that I don't think we're using right now. Two sets of silver spurs. I think we must have got these off Cumans. Um, War Horse shoes. I don't want to sell those. So this we need to repair. The body chain mail. The arm armor. Uh, and we don't even have anything right here. We need a coif. And we need a body garment. Um, let me look back and see here in a second if we have actually given anything to him that we can use there. I thought that the I thought that the uh, look we can sell those. I thought that the war horse came with some of that as well, but I'm guessing it must not. Uh, so, I wonder what this really is. Like, it's obviously not powdered unicorn horn. So what is it really, you know? Recipe for Bane Potion. That we need to read. Um, Shadow Play. Looks like we've read that one. I'll look at it again before we actually do anything with it. I think, so we haven't looked at that one yet. I think that's about it. Uh, okay. Alright, cool. So let's uh, check basket. Haggle that price. 5000 That'll definitely like give us enough the price. Hmm. to be able to build something. And we're going to try to get six out of it. He is very... He's a very happy guy. Actually, I don't know if we can get six. That's going to be way, way down there, but we'll try. What do you say to this? Close. Drop the. Okay. So let's go. Fifty-nine ninety. Aye. Right. For that amount. <laughs> well, wow, okay. Well, thanks then. So we got almost six thousand out of that. That's pretty good. That's going to put our total up to like eight thousand. So awesome. Let's go put that in the coffers, and then we'll go ahead and look through the ledger and see what we can actually do. Do we have a mission here? We do not have a mission there today. Not yet, anyway. Um, 
We'll look, uh, we finished the church completely. It's all painted up and looking good, I believe. Let me look at the inside of it. I think we saved it. I just want to make sure. Uh, yes, church is nice. We got a priest. Uh, awesome. Everything's going good there. I do wish it looked a little better out here. Maybe it will when the city's completely done. All right, let's look at the book. So, what can we build? We are making money, which is awesome. Temporary rat house, we've built that. We need to build an alchemist bench, for sure. Uh, let's see. Church we've built, and we've done with that. Forge is not built. Now, it says... Okay, it doesn't say that you do, you can't build something else with the forge, but it's 8000 Man, that is expensive. A distant settlement must have a blacksmith who will fashion tools, nails, horseshoes, and in time of need, requisites for men at arms with the necessary equipment. He can double either as a swordsmith or an armor smith. Uh, the bakery can't be built with a butcher, which sucks. I think that's stupid. A butcher can't be built with a bakery, obviously. Stables can't be built with guardhouse. And likewise, guardhouse can't be built with stables. Uh, we got a trader. We got a tavern now. So that's awesome. Uh, we've got bridges and road. We've got a woodcutter's camp. We've got beehives. We've got laborer's camp. So, do we want a stable or do we want a guardhouse? I feel like... Uh, so we get archery, it generates weapons from forge and archery range. And the stables generates settler, settlers, saddlers equipment and horseshoes from forge. Uh, neither one of them, or both of them, looks like they produce the same amount of money. As far as I can tell. Actually, it looks like the stables might produce a bit more. They both cost the same. Uh, yeah, the stables would produce a tad bit more, but not enough to really make a difference. Well, first thing we got to build is a forge before we can build either one of them. So let's go ahead and do that. So we can do a forge. And that's what we kind of need anyways. Let's go ahead and put uh, all of our money here. We already got 1.2 thousand in there, so that's good. Will I never? Oh, shut up. We got 9,000. We're going to save 1,000. I want to build, brother Marius. How's Prabus Lavitz doing? So? How am I doing with the village? Let's see. Hmm. 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 You're still far from having the income you need to make the village prosper. The village is big enough now. Sir Divish can bring in more people if he wants, and start expanding as he was planning. You've finished converting the church. It's magnificent. Excellent work. Thank you. We're on the right track, but we haven't reached the end yet. All right. I'll get stuck in. All right, so... Let's build. I want to build something. Certainly, Master Bailiff. What's it to be? Well, uh, buildings on the outskirts, actually. We've already finished everything successfully. Ah, okay then. Buildings in the village center. I would like to build a forge. Right? Yes. We'll need plenty of tools, and they'll need repairing, too. So we have to have a blacksmith. Let's go to the site. I'll see to the building. Now, do we have to actually get a blacksmith to come work for us before anything happens? That's the question. Uh, oh, we do have more power to unicorn horn. So I guess that guy just constantly replenishes his supply, maybe. Really need to clean up all this mess around here. Like, the town looks great, but it just looks like, uh... It's untidy, you know? We're going way down here for the blacksmith. What is this right here? This is the back side of the, the uh, traders, I think. I guess we're going to build it here. We're going to build here? Indeed. Can we begin? Yes, we can begin. I'm ready. Takes only a I'll few just days. I'll quickly check again that we have everything we need. And we do. Mm. We've got what we need. I know. Ah, 
Ah, and it comes with winches. Nice. It's like a pretty nice little area. Oh, she's pretty. Okay. We have a blacksmith. Nice. Game is saved, and uh, let's go ahead and check this place out. We've got a grindstone. Can we actually use the grindstone on our mace, I wonder? Where's the grindstone? I said we had one. Oh, there it is. No, that's the, the port of privy. I don't see a grindstone. Oh, here it is. Way over here. Okay, no, we have to, we can only, we don't use a grindstone on our, on our mace. I didn't think so. Alright, let's talk to this fellow. I'm honored that you should come to me. You should be. About repairs. Uh, man. 1.1 thousand to repair that. Holy crap. I pay zero? Oh, this craftsman can't repair such a badly damaged item. Really? Well, I can have him repair this stuff, I guess. I find that interesting that he can't repair those. I wonder why. Uh, we'll just go ahead and have him repair that stuff, I guess. It doesn't really cost that much. What about this other guy that was over here? Can he do it? I wonder where he went. Maybe he went to lay down. Maybe he's got the coronavirus. No, he's not in here. You guys don't have anything in your chest. We're going to check in this one. Fat. Robin for my own people. That's terrible. No guards anywhere to, uh, to say anything about it. Oh, yeah. There's where he keeps his stuff. 800 groschen. I'll just be taking those back. <laughs> Ooh. We're taking one of those as well. Um, anything else I can get out of here? That's that's pretty bad. I'm actually, I'm literally robbing from my own people. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do to survive. And, well, we have changed a lot from what we were. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and hop up here and take care of this problem, whatever the problem may be. And then we're going to go ahead and then we're going to go ahead and. Uh, Good day, Master Bailiff. God be with you. What's the trouble? Lame Agatha, that old crone who lives on the edge of the village. What's she done to you? Well. I thought you should know. She's getting mixed up in the herb woman's trade and selling folk all kinds of ointments and potions. What's wrong with that? It's all a swindle and a cheat. She ought to be burned as a witch. Oh, Lord. Why a swindle? What do you mean, it's a swindle? Because those mixtures of hers don't work. It's nothing but plain water with herbs and pork lard. How do you know? How do you know about it? Have you tried something from her yourself? Me? Why would I? Well, that would be a sin, wouldn't it? What do you mean, it's a swindle? Because those... Let's see, uh, just herbs? So it's not witch's brew she's selling, just ordinary herbs? Exactly, the swindler. But she casts spells too, I can tell you that. Does she? What did she do to you? See, what ointments and potions? What kind of ointments and potions are you talking about? Oh, you know, potions for an aching head, women's pains, and herbs to make cows give more milk. Okay, what did she do to you? Well, I suppose she did something to you, otherwise you wouldn't be here. She exed my hens and now they won't lay. And she put a spell on her own so they lay double. That's a serious accusation. Spells and witchcraft. That's a very serious accusation. Um, 
Well, I and suppose she did something to have you. one more. A little bit of dialogue here. Are you serious? Are you serious? I swear by the Holy Mother of God, she put a spell on them. Hmm. I can't waste time with this. Nah, I'm not going to waste my time on such nonsense. <laughs> I thought you'd be concerned for the folk in your own village, but it seems I was wrong. Good day, then. Yeah, I'm not, not worried about that. Sorry. Uh, you'll be fine. Okay, so we've got, uh, there's two built down there. There's not a whole lot left, honestly. I guess now, what we need to do is go ahead and look for this treasure map that we found. Uh, treasure map number five. I'm gonna see how much money we have in the coffers. 1.7 thousand. Um, treasure map number five. We do have it in our inventory. And where exactly will, would it be? We may have already found this, I'm not sure. Ah, oh, it's near an old well, south of south of Merhoyed. Oh, this, I don't think we've, we may not have found this one. Old well south of Merhoyed. Uh, which would be, it's actually not that far. Uh, there's a, let's see, it's near south of Merhoyed. An old well south of Murrowhead. We haven't even been over here. I do not know why. Uh, I would imagine that it would be near this river, maybe? <coughs> ah. There's a bridge there, obviously, or a tree falling across at once. A Townburg that way, Merhoyed north. So, and here's the windmill. Right here. I'm going to guess it's around this area, so this is where we're going to go to look for it. This really isn't what I had planned on doing today, but um, we we did that part. We're going to travel to Merhoyed, Merhoyed, and the first thing we're going to do is, is head over... Actually, you know what? We might travel over here and go ahead and get that undone in Samapesh. And then we'll travel towards Merhoyed. It's almost dark, actually. I probably should have slept through the night. It's going to be dark when we get there. Um... We'll see if we can find that treasure real fast. This might be a little bit harder to find. Because it, it says it's near that river, but the river does not show a bridge crossing. We probably ran into some trouble right here somewhere. We almost always do. Nope, we didn't. <laughs> so we'll get down here. Right over there to figure out what exactly that area is. There's another unique area right here. I don't know what that would be. I guess it's just you're going over a cliff, maybe. Uh, this looks like a just like a woodcutter's camp or something, but I just want to unlock it, you know, figure out what it is exactly. I think it's literally the last thing on the map that we haven't that we haven't uncovered. Elmer's a good horse, you know. He just um, yeah he just does dumb things sometimes that trying to jump over a fence when you didn't need to Elmer you're crazy you're crazy Elmer yeah Lord have mercy I have no clue what just happened there Alright, so this place is just right through these woods. And 
here it is. What is this place? It looks like it might be an herbalist. An alchemy bench. Nice. So it's an alchemist. That's cool. We haven't talked to her yet. Good evening. Good evening. Let's talk trade. What all do you have? Artisma potion, armor potion. Cockerel potion, chamomile brew, doll maker potion, which I really want to try on something. Embrocation. She's got a few recipe books. And a treasure map. Nice. Okay. That's good. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and buy this stuff. We are going to haggle that price, though. Can we do something about the price? Hmm. Alright, so... Alright, so... I'll pay you 700 for it all. Finally, a reasonable... Yes, reasonable. Okay. Awesome. So let's go ahead and uh, look and see what we got here. The books I'm going to go ahead and read now. Get that out of the way. Okay. And the treasure map we will look at. And that's going to be south of Scalitz. I don't think I found that one yet either. Alright, so now let's go look for this treasure real fast. I've already, I've already went basically out of the way. And I, I think... That uh, it's gonna be over in here. We're gonna travel to Merhoyed first, and then we're gonna wait until daylight, and then we'll head down there and see if we can find it. All right, it's daylight now. We're hungry. I need to put my torch away, and we've uh, we need to. I need to find some food. All right, let's see. Uh, where can I find? Hey, Elmer. Let's... We're gonna find some food really quick. We're in Murhoyed, so I don't know. All right, here we go. So first thing we need to do is go to where the little windmill is, which is right here. Pretty sure yeah. that's kind of our starting point. And then we got to figure out where exactly this river is and where the bridge is over. It, look, it almost looks like it might just be a small creek. But if it is, it's not listed on, it's not showing on the map. So that's going to be the hard part, finding it. I hear a, I hear a motorcycle outside. It's ruining my video. Yeah, small river. Hmm. Or creek, I should say. Now, does this run? I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're getting hungry. Well, let's go ahead and walk over here and see if... Uh, oh, look here. Nice. We've got a bell out here anyway, so this works out. Sorry for the background noise, by the way. Nothing I can really do about that. I think my neighbor's working on his bike or something. Very professional of me. <clears throat> okay, so treasure map number six or seven, <coughs> number five. What's going on out there? Oh, it's okay. It's just me, Henry. So who's there? It's Henry. Looking at a map. Calm down. So, it looks like paths go into a point, and at the, where the paths go into the, yep, that's exactly where we gotta go. Good, he's leaving. Um, yes, make a lot of noise. Right here, and, and going off into here is where we need to be. So this works out great, actually. So we're gonna just travel right down here. And, uh, which way? This way. Yeah. Hopefully this treasure has a decent amount of money in it. I haven't been 
down here yet, so this is kind of new territory for me. Lord, there's blood on the ground. Do we follow it up into the bushes? First things first, let's inspect this and see if... Yeah, well, for sure there's an accident here. That's obvious. But somebody must have crawled up in these bushes and died. We've seen things like this before. But I can't remember what happened. There he is. Oh, he's got a treasure box with him. Buck's blood potion. Nice. I wonder if this is the treasure. It might be. <laughs> we just found it inadvertently. Digestive potion, Groshen, which we'll take. Lazarus potion, and ornamental goblet. Well, cool. We'll take that. I don't think that's the actual treasure, though. I think the treasure's on down here. I think that's just somebody who yeah. was in a wagon accident and trying to hide his stuff. Constellation cross that we have yeah. already found, apparently. So it should branch off right here somewhere. Who are you, sir? Wait for her. Uh, right here. So the treasure should be up this way. Hmm. Maybe this is the... The log it was talking about. And I guess maybe that's the main river. You see, the trail continues on down that way. Could be. Ah, here it is. It's going to be over here. So you've got Telmberg that way, Merhoyed to the north, right there. And here's the little creek it was talking about. It's just from a different angle. So it's actually going to be right over here. Yeah. So I was looking in the wrong spot altogether, but I did. I did find something, though. So it wasn't a wasted trip. I'm just going to quickly look around here, see if I see anything hidden anywhere. Sometimes you'll see things hidden, or find things hidden, I should say. But, uh, nope, not this time. Everything looks, looks pretty normal. Oh, we got, who is this? A wafer? Hey, my man. Go for yeah. a little contest, hmm? No contest, you say. A Riddler. How sure. about a small wager, my good man? Okay, no, sure, thanks. why not? A wager over what? It's simple. I tell you a riddle. If you solve it, you get back twice the sum you wager. If you don't, I get to keep your coin. Okay. Sure. That sounds good. Let's do it. Now, listen carefully. In the feast hall on the table are ten candles. Suddenly, a gust of wind throws open the window and blows out two candles. A little later, another candle goes out. The servant, therefore, closes the whole window. Now the wind cannot blow out any more. So how many candles can the servant find to relight the following morning in the hall? Ten. Because by the end of the day, all of them would go out, you would think, right? Ten. No, no, my no? fine fellow. The correct answer is three. While the wind blows out three, seven burn down completely overnight, so the next day oh. will be rekindled. Oh, don't you fret. Very few people can figure Makes out sense. my riddles. <laughs> <laughs> so, I thank you, and may we meet again sometime. That was actually kind of interesting. Not if I see you first. All right, well. Yeah, I'm not good at riddles, obviously. Yeah. I didn't think about them burning all the way down to the ground. Or, you know, down to where there's nothing left. Alright, well, we should be coming up on this, uh, this 
area fairly quickly here. Should be a path right down here we can follow down. Alright, here we are. Now, let's see. So, there's a little creek that starts right over here somewhere. Looks like it's right, right, right here it is. And this well will be kind of north of this creek. Yeah, it just starts right here. So let's look up there for a old well or house or something. There's a tree. Okay, good. We're just going to go right across it right here. Let's see if we can find this old well. We should be able to see it pretty much where we're at. I believe this is it right here. There it is. Very nice. Fascinating. So here's the old well. We can't actually get down inside of it, but there's something in it. Dyed Melanese Brigandine. Wow, that is expensive. Fashionable slippers, grasses and herbs 6, I think it was. Unpopular dye. Nice. I guess I'm assuming that was it. I don't think there was any more treasure around, but I'm going to look over here real fast. X, the, the X was right over here, but uh, the well is where the treasure was, obviously. All right, so that brigandine, do we actually have one of those on already? We do. How is How good is the one we have on? Oh, we got the warhorse one on. It's not as good, but it weighs a little less. So we'll just sell that one. Um, I do want to put on our, uh, no, I think, uh, yeah, I think we're good there. All right, so we got that treasure out of the way. So that's treasure number five. We have another treasure up north of Scallets that we can go ahead and look for. Man, I was going to do, I was going to do caping this episode and completely forgot. I just now remembered. That's okay. Um, we have another one we we're going to look for. Let's see, where's it at? This one's going to be just south of Scallet, so we'll fast travel up there real fast and find this one. And I think that'll be it. Let's see, uh, Scallet's. Not sure exactly how far it is below it. Well, we don't know if it's actually south of Scallet. It could be. Yeah, yeah, we got North Point that way, so it definitely is. There's a river wagon and a tree there. The Scallops is way up there. And there's the old tree. The treasure should be right underneath one of these old trees. If this is the correct location. So we're just kind of look around here. See if we see anything interesting. It says it's over in here. I believe. There's a little bit of a trail going back here. I don't think it's that far back, though. be near this old tree here. Hmm. We may be in the wrong spot. I mean, it looks like an old dead tree 
out into the woods. Trigger's off that way. Looks like it should be like right there. There's a big tree there. Nothing around it. don't see an old dead tree anywhere. I see a few big trees. Aha! This has got to be it. Alright, well, let's dig it up. Yep, treasure box. Awesome. 100 Groshen, not much. Lazarus Potion, Lucky Playing Die, Noble Shoes, Villager's u -bow. Not really a lot. Not really a lot of good stuff there. And, and 40 quality arrows. So might as well take. Yeah, that one was kind of lame, to be honest. Not a very good one. But we got it nonetheless, so we found that one. Okay, guys, I think this episode's ran long enough. I think I'm going to call it here. Uh, definitely not the episode I really wanted to have, but we did find two more treasures, which was great. Um, one of them was worth it. This one wasn't really, but that's okay. Uh, my goal is to find all of them before we completely stop playing this, playing this game. I think I can probably get another 20, 30 episodes out of it, honestly. But uh, anyway, hope you guys are still enjoying it. If you are, consider leaving a like, subscribing to the channel, telling your friends and sharing the video, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.